Hi, my name is Joe Baltich. I'm from Into the Brush. Uh, Into the Brush is an uh, organization, a nonprofit designed to uh, produce art education for uh, wilderness rediscovery. So art education for wilderness rediscovery means we're trying to get people back into the woods again and we're luring them in with paint. Um, that's one thing that we do. The other thing we do now, um, I was out painting a rock because that's what I do. I paint on rocks. In fact, we use rock painting for a lot of other uh, activity, uh, activities along the course of inter, Into the Brush. But I was painting a scene of a boundary water, a boundary water scene because I'm from the Boundary Waters uh, of Minnesota, northeastern Minnesota. I'm surrounded by it. And uh, that's where I grew up. And I was painting a red canoe coming to shore. And I got to thinking about... Uh, a woman that I'd heard of who had a terminal illness and she was leaving behind her, her, her children. It was a tragic story and her, her last wish was to go on a Boundary Waters trip while she was in strong enough health to do it. And as I was painting, I was, my mind wanders, you know, you're thinking about everything under the sun and also paying attention to the rock. When it dawned on me, I said, you know, I can't do anything about the situation that has befallen her. However, I could send her this rock. And I said, well, maybe I'll, I'll find out. So I did a little bit of research and I talked to a family member and they thought this was a fantastic idea. Um, I painted that rock and I got it to the individual. And I don't know much beyond that point other than uh, the initial discussion I had with the party was that um, she would be quite pleased with it. So, And that's all I was hoping for. My whole goal was to paint a rock and have someone who is a stranger deliver uh, on the said rock. Uh, to somebody that I who I don't even know and as a result uh, she would uh, maybe have a brighter moment for her day yeah, that's all I was trying to do and then I got to thinking I said you know that's kind of an interesting concept uh, I'd go out and research people who are having a terminal situation and uh, dying before their time or passing on and uh, I would try to find out about them a little bit and then paint something that was significant to them on a rock and deliver it to them, not knowing the individual, be, being more or less a total stranger, other than the fact that uh, I know somebody went on a Disneyland trip and they really liked it, or they're in the Boundary Waters and they loved it, or they took a cruise to Tahiti or something. Anyway, I had this idea, and I'm going to pursue it. What I'm doing is uh, I'm going to research people who are in a bad way, and try to brighten up their day a little bit with a painted rock. And that's kind of what this is all about. So I came up with the idea of um, Stones of Uplifting Light, S-O-U-L, soul. And uh, Stones of Uplifting Light, I go out and find out something about somebody who's got a, has an issue and try to paint something for them that more or less takes them back to that pleasant time in their life and trying to brighten that individual's day. As a result, I'm seeking donations to try to put together this part of the organization where we would do just that. We'll research people and then paint a rock for them. And I've got operating expenses and supplies and time. I've also got another job, my real job, and this would be what I'd be doing in my spare time. I'm self-employed, so I'm working on something all the time, it seems, just like anyone who's self-employed. Um, so it does take time and it's going to take some money to do, uh, not a ton of money, but some. I also want to remain anonymous. So I'm seeking donations from crowdsource funding uh, like this, just because uh, uh, the individual I'm sending the rock to, whoever it might be, um, will pay nothing for the rock and neither will their family. One day a rock shows up in a box or somebody stops by and delivers it for the individual and the goal is to try to brighten that person's day. And we're going to say it with a rock, you know, and give them something that's, uh, you know, very unique and uh, colorful and pretty depending on what it is that, we, or that I'm painting. Eventually I plan to uh, add a researcher and some artists. I'm looking at maybe young artists out of college. I, I need some gifted people. Uh, we are going to incur some expenses. Um, and this is the, the initial start. Hopefully we'll have a foundation someday where um, this is all we do. We paint rocks and we brighten people's lives and uh, we try to uh, make the world a better place with art. 
and um, that's the goal. That's what I'm doing right now. Uh, we're beginning to do some research and trying to find people who meet this qualification. There are a zillion of them, unfortunately. I won't be paint, able to paint rocks for all of them, but uh, as they come along, I'll do my best. But meanwhile, I'm seeking donations uh, from crowdsource funding like this through uh, GoFundMe. And uh, I'm hoping that if you can contribute, uh, that would be wonderful. I take anything I can get because i got to pay for paint and I have to pay for, uh, well, space and heat and all that other stuff that still, the bills keep coming. So I'd like to take care of that while I'm pursuing this, uh, trying to brighten somebody's day. So in effect, you would be brightening somebody's day. And that's all we can ask for. We're so if you're able, I'd appreciate it. If not, well, thank you for reading. And if you could pass this information along to someone, um, it, it would help immensely. And uh, again, I appreciate any support you can send. And I hope you have a nice day.